Hi, everyone. It's Wednesday, April 28th. Uh, it's great to be with you today. I hope you had a great Tuesday yesterday. Uh, we're focused uh, on this idea that with the eyes that we have with Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the dead, and all that, that what that means, um, what does that mean as, as it, the, in that phrase, in the try-hard life? Uh, we, we all try hard to be happy and whole and complete and filled up and balanced and... Um, Sometimes you don't get there because we're trying in the wrong ways, huh? Uh, and, and so what the Easter eyes give us is, is they whisper to us to look to Jesus. Uh, and I love uh, these words from Matthew 11 in the paraphrase of the message, the Bible, the message. It, it, the, these words, are you tired, worn out, burned out? I mean, why do we get there? Because we look in the wrong place. We don't look to Jesus. Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life, what life was meant to be, what we're all looking for, huh? I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Uh, um, live this way of life that I give you, huh? Watch how I do it. This, this rhythm of life, watch me how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace, this living in this undeserved love of God to us in Jesus. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Okay, my way of life is for you, not against you. Keep company with me. It's, it's all about being with me. And you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Everything that you're looking for, right? Um, so, so this is uh, where we began. We really haven't left this, but we've, we've added some things to it. Yesterday, we looked at the idea of um, up, in, and out uh, relationship uh, as Jesus demonstrated it with the Father uh, and then with his people, with himself, and, and, and through that, then the mission that we're on. Um, always in grace. Uh, this Matthew 11 didn't drop down out of the sky, I said yesterday, but, but rather it's the context of, of how Jesus did life with his disciples. That's what it's meant. This is what it looks like. huh? So we're gonna, um, we're gonna look at a couple uh, passages today that really point out uh, this rhythm of life is is um, is not um, working. It's working from rest, not resting from work. Okay, it's working from rest, not resting from work. That's the rhythm of life that Jesus gives us. So it, it, I'm going to read here uh, now. After Jesus called his disciples, and after they had done life with him, spent life, time with him, right after they had. Uh, um, learn to be connected to the Father, uh, prayer and other things, right? After they had done life with Jesus and, and, and experienced his grace and, and the fact that they were family and, and, and the like, uh, then uh, Jesus, and after they helped Jesus on, on uh, what he was doing, right? Proclaiming the good news and casting out demons, pushing back evil, healing sick, then it goes like this. Then Jesus went around teaching from village to village, calling the 12 to him. He sent them out two by two, and gave them authority over evil spirits. So now, from this place of rest, from this place of being with Jesus, come to me, follow me, right? Uh, and, and I'll make you fishers of men. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to live on mission. Uh, but it all begins from the resting in Jesus and the grace that we know in him. It really never leaves that place, right? But, but it's, whew, we rest in him. And, and from that place, we are empowered and, and schooled then to live in a different way. The unforced rhythms of grace as we live our lives. We see places where we can take his love and, and his truth in the lives of others. And so he sends the 12 out, uh, two, two by two. And when they come back, they're, they're really excited. And we're, we're, we're going to pick it up when they come back, okay? It says here, the apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Come follow me. Do life with me. Spend time with me. So they, they'd, been, uh, they'd been on a mission, and now they, they, they came back, and, and they were excited. They wanted to talk, but they needed to rest. And how do you rest? You rest with Jesus. You rest doing life with Jesus, being with him and with one another. We talked about up in and out yesterday, but and, and so here we see this connection with God and Jesus, and then with one another. They were resting with one another. Um, uh, now, now I want to read just uh, a couple verses uh, that 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 kind of illuminates what this means for us a little bit too. So Jesus returned to Galilee. This was after he was tempted by uh, Satan. Uh, in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread through the whole countryside. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. 
you know, I, I think this is this is really um, a good point for us to to remember. Uh, lo- lots of times we view um, trying to get to worship as as a, a huge burden, as as uh, something I have to do or that I should do, and and I feel bad if I don't get there, and and it's, it's kind of like a hoop I I need to jump through a check mark. No, um, God pr- wants uh, presents the reality of worship as a place of rest. Uh, it, he drives us home in the Old Testament when the commandment was tied to the Sabbath rest, where they were told not to do any physical work uh, on Saturday, as well as to and, and what, so what did they do? They were connected with God and, and they were connected with one another. They they stopped and they dwelled in relationship and and in the love that God had for them and the love that they were called to live in with one another. Um, and, and so he drove this home in the Old Testament, and 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 with us, it's meant to be a place of rest, uh, resting in in um, in God and through Jesus, and, and kind of resting with one another, taking a breath, uh, uh, rejoicing, being filled up by His Spirit again. Why? Because we we're, we're going to be on mission the very next day again, in the, the the mission of our lives. And we see here that Jesus not only tells us these things, but He modeled it. Uh, as was his custom, he was in the synagogue. As was his custom, and it wasn't, it wasn't because somebody because he had to do it. it was banging him on his head. No, it was meant to be a place of rest. Uh, so, so let let's pray, uh, Father. Um, it's hard for us to get this idea that that we are to work, we are to live our lives as, as people in your kingdom uh, from a place of rest. We're, we're not to. Um, rest from work, but rather we, should, we ought to work from rest. And, and you give us so many ways to do that with our families uh, during the week as we gather and, and um, as, as we share our lives with each other and we, sh- and we gather around you and your name, um, or, or as, a, as we gather on, on Sunday mornings in worship. Um, we pray, Lord, that your spirit would, w- would guide us and empower us to see these places as times of rest, not as times of work. Uh, not not as hoops we jump through, but as places where your spirit fills us up, and we pray that that you would um, that, that that you would give us that grace and that peace as we rest in you in these places, um, to be filled up, and, and then to go forward in the work that you give us, uh, empowered because of the rest that we have experienced in you. Lord, change our minds, uh, bring us to a place of repentance uh, where we need to be. Um, so that we look for strength and power um, in these places of rest that you give us as we do relationship with you and in you and with one another. Pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow yet. Bye now.